Hey there guys, Zach here for Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 17639. This build includes a number of new changes and enhancements over the last public preview build which was 17634 I believe or something somewhere around there. Uh, it's been a while since we've done a build video and that's because not much has changed between the last build video and this one. Uh, but today Microsoft has introduced a whole number of new improvements to Windows sets. So in the last build where we did a video, Windows sets was very rudimentary, it was very rough and very broken because it was a feature that had been implemented early into the builds. But now it's sort of coming along a little bit, it's still nowhere near done, but it's finally starting to receive some of the... Um, features and behaviors that you would expect a tabbed interface to have. So if we open up a, an app here, you'll see that tabs are at the top of this app, just like in the last video. Uh, but if we come up here to the set tabs aside button, which is now called pick up where you left off, uh, you've now got a nice sort of animation which sort of teaches you how to use this button and stuff. And it says uh, select the plus button to browse the web or open an app in a new tab. The next time you come here, you'll be able to restore tabs you had open previously. And if we open up an app here where I had multiple tabs open, you'll see that this pick up where you left off, but it actually includes sort of um, a, a preview or thumbnail of the apps you had open, except of course it's not working in this build by lots of things, but here's the apps I had open and all I can do is tap on it and uh, that will restore the tabs that I had open just like that. Uh, we can also add another tab if we need to as well by pressing the plus button up here. And of course that will take you to Microsoft's Edge start page where you can open new apps or web pages just like in the previous build also. Uh, also known as build, you can now uh, rearrange tabs between windows if it works, except it doesn't work with Microsoft Edge, I just remembered. So yeah, if you try and do that when Edge is open, it will just crash just like that. But if you do it with non-Edge based apps, you can actually move tabs between windows now. Just like you would expect to be able to do, oh, almost, there we go, just like you would expect to be able to do in a normal tabbed environment. Um, let's close this out here, let's close, actually let's keep this open because what I want to do, if I close this out, and open up again, you'll see that I set tabs aside or pick up my left off should be clear now. Yep, it's clear. So if I open, oh no, it's not. I lied. So usually what you'd be able to do is sort of clear this out. Can I clear this by deleting it? I don't think I can, which is unfortunate. But yeah, I was trying to clear that. But what usually, if you open up multiple apps in the same window, so if I click on this, it'll open in a new tab. Now that should be part of sets. So uh, a part of um, pick up where you left off. So if I close both of these and reopen one of them, I should be prompted, yeah, so now this icon's gone black, which means that there's an app in here that you had open last. And calendar, um, oh there, well, restore tab, but except it's incorrectly identified calendar as mail. Well, imagine the Met Calendar app just popped up there by pressing restore. It is a bit buggy, as uh, as I said, it's not final in any way, shape or form. Uh, but hey, the feature sort of works, almost. And there's also apparently C related tabs and there's the people tab, which we can restore just like that. I've also noticed that in timeline apps that have multiple tabs open in a window show up in timeline as um, sort of this thing. It looks like a card with a, a drop shadow and that's because that's kind of signifying, hey, this has uh, multiple windows open or multiple tabs in one session. And you can see up here it says one tab and if I click on this, that should hopefully restore the entire session. Now I do believe what's happening here is Windows is confusing the mail and calendar app as just mail, which is why it's just showing mail here. But that would have opened up the calendar app as well if this feature was behaving as intended. Now, if we jump into settings, there's also a couple of additional options for sets in settings. So if we go down to multitasking here, let's go down a little bit more. We'll see this option here. So we've got set tabs in apps, which is on by default, which is the sets itself. You can turn off sets entirely and it will no longer bother you. Or you can now fine tune it so it only shows up, it, it doesn't show up in some apps. So if you like sets as a whole, but some apps don't work with it or you just don't need it, you can actually add an app here and tell Windows not to enable sets on specific apps. So as you can see here, here's the Microsoft Store app and sets is enabled at the top. However, if we go in here and enable Microsoft um, and disable Microsoft Store from having sets enabled, where's Microsoft Store? There it is. Press OK. You see it's listed here now. When I open up Microsoft Store next, uh, I no longer have sets at the top. So this is a good way to fine tune which apps do and which apps don't get sets. So uh, right now, um, none of them are in there by default, but I assume over time some might get added. The other option here is that you can now decide whether Alt Tab shows tabs or just Windows. So you can do Windows and tabs or Windows only, which is very nice indeed. 
also new with sets, Microsoft is sort of slowly but surely further tying it in with File Explorer. So now you can right click on folders and open in new tab, just like you'd expect to be able to do in a tab browsing environment. So yeah, slowly but surely sets is turning into a feature that feels native to the File Explorer, which is very exciting. Now there's also a couple of new context menu options in sets itself. So if we right click on a tab here, you'll see that I can now close tabs to the right, which will get rid of everything to the right of the tab I selected. And there's also a close other tabs button as well now. So if I right click one, close other tabs, that close everything except the one you have selected. Now, the other noteworthy change in this build is to do with Bluetooth devices. Bluetooth devices now showcase their battery percentage here in um, the Bluetooth area. And as you can see here, um, there's the battery for my connected Bluetooth mouse, uh, which is very nice. And when it's charging, you can see that go up and uh, it's just a good way to uh, make sure your batteries are fully charged or charged enough for use. Now, this is a feature that was actually in the Surface app, which is available in the Microsoft Store only for Surface devices, I imagine. Uh, but now they're finally bringing that functionality natively to the settings app, which makes sense more than anything. So there you have it, guys. That's a quick look at Windows 10 Build 17639. Thanks so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Sets. So in the last build where we did a video, Windows Sets was very rudimentary. It was very rough and very broken because it was uh, a feature that was early. Because it was a feature that had been... Because it was a feature that had been... Because it was a feature that had been implemented early into the builds. But now it's sort of coming along a little bit. It's still nowhere near done, but it's...